Hey there and welcome. My name is Carlos Berlitz and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here, unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without costing you anything extra. And other links, they will be in the description together with some timestamps so you can jump to the point of your preference. First one for this week is Battle for Monktown by Ivan Colucci from RPG Latam, the Latin American tabletop RPG scene. It is a nice little mini scenario from from the mud, actually, that was created by Queen, and it was created as part of RPG Latam Jam 2022, that is just finishing right now. But it is a nice place to go and find out about new creators and titles from RPG Latam or based from RPG Latam creations. Well, on Monktown, in this mini scenario, you have two tyrannical wizards in an open war for Mangtown. And as tyrannical wizards do, they are using all kinds of undead and abominations against each other. The players themselves will play as a group of undeads caught in the middle of this conflict, trying to keep their Mangtown free of these colonizers. A cool point of note is that Mang from Mangtown means mangrove in Brazilian Portuguese, and it's a very important region for many people there. And to top it off, it is in a leaflet pamphlet format, which I just love. And it is pay what you want, so just grab it now on itch.io. Also, from RPG Latam Jam 2022, we have the release of Zenith Beach and Brave Sales by Mike, Lucas Rolim, and Tor de Vic. And three themselves, they are creators from RPG Latam as well. And this title is an adventure for Brave Zenith by Giuliano Roverato and inspired by Exile, which is also from Giuliano. Um. But well, in Zenith Beach and Brave Sails, you just reach the beach, which people say that you can take uh, a boat to uh, the archipelago that is called Brave Zenith. However, the beach seems desolated and there is only one boat that remains. People don't seem to be doing fine around here and there are a ton of crabs around oh and expect a nice wet dog all kinds of beach visitors from the radical sport people to the sunburned tourists it is on each funding although already complete with its 40 pages so go on and explore this fun beach crawl with tons of mysteries new rules and plenty of idea sparks continue with another submission from rpg latam jam 2022 to the top by Cat Scratcher Studio. It is based on Cesar Capco's SRD, that is Push, and bring you to the world of dramatic sports competition where you are pushing your luck while trying to balance your relationships, your performance, and your dreams. For me, it brings some vibes from the sports anime manga that I liked, that is like Captain Tsubasa, Slam Dunk, and All Out and so on, there are plenty of others. It has a clean but very effective layout and provides you with everything you need to create the world where you will play in, enjoying your days as a rookie all the way out to your retirement. And you can play it either solo, either in group, which is always a good one to have as an option. But today, we won't only talk about RPG Latam, we also have the release of Firefly, Firefly, Show Me My Way by Lynn M. Meyer. This is a solo, solo cozy journaling game about finding your way home with the help of a firefly. The idea of the game is for you to relax, try to enjoy some quiet time with nature and perhaps learn a bit more about fireflies in the way. It will have several prompts for you to respond to, some with open-ended questions, some with a set of predetermined answers for you to choose from, or Determine at random by the roll of a die. And just try and follow your way back home with the help of this firefly. A piece of news that is interesting for people from the US is that So Muppet Publishing from the United Kingdom, the ones responsible for the releases as of Best Left Buried, Orbital Blues, uh, but also some partnerships with RPG Last uh, and RPG C. RPG C being the Southeast Asian tabletop RPG scene, like uh, the one that we have, we have Karandum by Makapatag that was released using So Muppet. We have also the Latam, uh, RPG Latam Breakout project that was also done in partnership with So Muppet. So they have a lot of stuff like that. They are partnering with Floating Chair. What does it mean? Well, now you can find some titles from So Muppet Publishing being available in the US by floating chair. So if you are in the US, it 
and was eyeing some of these titles or some of the other titles that are available from Soul Muppet Publishing, now you can get them much more easily. On gems, because we always have some gems around, this week the first gem that I want to mention is the Noblin gem being hosted by Bianca Momatos, which you are already familiar that I am a fan of. The idea is to create spells, creatures, dom dooms, stories and whatnot for ARK. A game that we already mentioned here before more than once and that looks amazing and this gem will have a prize for the winner of the voting the voting will be on during july and the prize is a drawing of their character as a noblin whoever is the winner will win will get a drawing of their character as a noblin the team for the gem is alternative hope however it is not mandatory to follow the team and, of course, respect the ARC creator license because you are creating something for ARC. So, this is, there is some other rules, but they are simple ones. And check it out and also check it out all the creations that will be there. Another gem going live this week is the Artifacts of Horror gem, where the idea is to create together a solo journaling game. Each participant of the gem will make one or more artifacts inspired by the one of the omens that is mentioned in the gem page. All the gem entries, the artifacts that were created actually, will be gathered to make this solo game. The game will be about investigating that turn, uh, investigating actually what turned a small coastal town into a ghost town. You will have around two weeks to create something for the gem and check it out so that you can already see the omens that are there and to, so that you are, can choose one the sooner the better. And on articles and threads this week, there is a thread by Matt Sanders from Sealed Li Library on text comprehension and invention from text in tabletop RPGs. He first explains what both of these terms mean and then go on on more details on how they are usually approached and how, what some people expect from tabletop RPGs texts. It is a very interesting read, as Matt says, it's not an academic explanation, but uh, it's something that he draw from experience, both in writing games and in teaching reading skills. So go check it, this thread out. It could easily have been a uh, post in a, in a blog or something like that. And for this week, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the damn video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works, you can pay me a coffee on coffee. you can buy my games on itch.io, you can support me on internet like you know how, it, how you can do it, and I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya!